Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Whatever time you're listening to this, just want to say hello to you. Really what I want to get into today deals with listening to these prophets out here. These prophets that tell you what the Lord said and what the Lord is going to do and what the Lord is going to change in your life. It's false. It's not true. They are all lies. I want you people to understand the Bible is all you need. The scripture testifies of Jesus Christ. That's all you need. Now I know some of you have strong impressions and I don't disagree that God speaks to the mind. I believe that God speaks to the mind. But that's true. The word of God, which is the scripture. I know you guys want to hold on to these things. These, you know, impressions that you're having. But they do a lot of damage. More than they do good. It is the scriptural truth. That brings the man of God and edifies the man of God. That is what helps you grow, not impressions, not voices that you think you are hearing. You think you're hearing. Yes, that's what I said. You think you're hearing it, but it's not the voice of God. This is the voice of God. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is prosperous profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect thoroughly, furnished unto all good works. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 through 17. The Bible is all that you need. That's it. Look, let me tell you something. I used to be a false prophet. I used to go around prophesying. I know that it's false. The word of God revealed it to me. It was hard. Hard. It was hard to come out of that. Only by the scripture and the Holy Spirit working within for me to repent of all the lies that I told. And the effects of it, I'm still feeling it today. Because see, I led my family down that road. Oh yeah. So it, it does get to me when I hear people say, well the Lord told me. The Lord didn't tell you. If he did tell you, it was from the scripture. Oh, you say you're worshiping that Bible too much. No, I'm worshiping the Jesus Christ of the Bible. That's who I want to know about. Not these prophets and teachers y'all are following. They're lying to you. They're prophesying. Listen to me. Listen, just listen to me. Why do you want to hear them more than you want to hear the words of scripture? Because it's easier to hear. It's easier to hear an impression. Oh, the Lord is telling me to buy a car. The Lord is telling me this. The Lord is telling me that. That's easy to hear. But repent? Turn from sin? Flee fornication? That ain't easy to hear. And that's what the scripture speaks about. Love one another? That's, that's not easy to hear. No. Oh. You know what's easy to hear? I'll tell you. 
what God is going to do for you, how God is going to bless you. Oh, sometimes they may tell you you struggle with this type of sin, but they don't tell you to repent. That's the key. Some of them even claim it's Jesus talking. It's not. I know it's not. I used to be one of those people. And it were all lies. And I had to repent from all of it. Again, don't confuse me and say, oh, well, you don't believe in the supernatural moving of God. No, I believe God can move supernaturally. But the most of this stuff out here are lies. They're lies. That's what they are. And I love you enough to tell I love you enough to tell you the truth. Because I don't want to see any of y'all get hurt by this. Because I live in a household that is hurt by it. I'm getting baptized this weekend and my wife called me and she was in distress. Because one of her closest friends wanted to go hear that false lying Paula White. And it brought back a memory of all the lies that I told. Yeah, that's how it affects you people gotta stop listening to these false teachers and false prophets prophet lying. All you need is the scripture. That is the 100% truth of God. Let me tell you. God wants you to know who he is. And the way that you know him is through the scripture alone. Sola Scriptura. That's it. You can call on me and argue with me and tell me I'm wrong. Take that up with the Bible. Take that up with Jesus Christ of the scripture. And you'll see. No. It's prophesying. God bless you all. May his grace be with you. In the name of Jesus Christ.